close your eyes, watch your breath. Make sure the breath is comfortable as it comes in, as it goes out. This is a way of showing goodwill for yourself. We breathe all the time. If you don't pay attention to it, the breath can get very uncomfortable as we're paying attention to other things. And we create some unnecessary discomfort for ourselves. This is one of the Buddha's main lessons, is that it's the unnecessary suffering we create for ourselves is what weighs the mind down. When the breath is uncomfortable, it puts you in a bad mood. When you're in a bad mood, you start thinking thoughts that are not all that skillful. So turn around and do a little something that can be good for your mind. And this way you're showing goodwill for others, too. We think about the happiness that comes in the path. It's a happiness that doesn't create boundaries. You look around us right now. We have people from lots of different countries, lots of different backgrounds. It's because the Buddha's teaching is for everybody. The problem of suffering, the problem of the, the suffering that the mind creates for itself is not just an Asian problem or an American problem or European or whatever. It's a human problem. It's a problem for the Davis. It's a problem for animals. It's a problem for everybody. And the Buddha was happy to share his teachings with everybody who was able to understand. So you think about that. And keep remembering that the happiness you find here is totally harmless. The mind wants to go out and find other pleasures, but you have to think about the harm that those pleasures do. Your lust, your greed, your aversion, your delusion. These can create all kinds of problems around your search for happiness. And they can skew your vision of what re real happiness is. You know, people get so that they start justifying the harm they do to themselves, the harm they do to other people, in the name of the happiness they want. You see this all around. And so the Buddha is offering a solution to this all-around problem. It's meant for everybody. And it's going to be good for everybody. Not everybody may be able or willing to follow his teachings, but for those of us who are willing and are able, we spread a good influence in the world, both inside and outside. So when you feel tempted to leave the practice, think about what you're going to do, creating more harm for yourself, more harm for other people. Whereas when you're practicing virtue, concentration, discernment, when you're practicing generosity as well, you're finding happiness that enables us to all get along. So you don't see any need to harm anybody else. In order to get what we want, we change what we want because we realize that what we wanted that was harmful is harmful not only for other people but also for ourselves. Happiness is totally harmless. That's the best there is. This is what the Buddha is offering. So when you think thoughts of goodwill, remind yourself, how do you express goodwill? Well, you express goodwill through the practice. When you observe the precepts, you're helping yourself. When you get others to observe the precepts, you're helping them. You're setting a good example. So it's through doing the practice that we show our goodwill for the world and all beings all around us, including this being sitting right here. 